Good afternoon and evening, everyone. This is Tessa Spade today. Welcome to Hump Day. It is officially Hump Day, August 14th, 2024. It is day 227. Yay. It's a kind of, I don't I guess you could say kind of a significant day for Terra, but also not more coincidental from his uh, old life. Or not old life, but you know, back in. Jeez, that was. Seven queen years ago? Anyway, um. The more, the, the, the more noteworthy thing today is that Buttercup is officially starting school today. She got home late. And it wasn't even her fault. It was her school's. Her school had everyone get out late. So they had all of the parents waiting in the car lines to pick their kids up. Everyone was waiting for a good... <sighs> what is with this thing? Anyway, everyone was waiting to pick their kids up for like a full hour. So everyone was pretty... Oh, everyone was very late getting their kids. So right now we've got dinner in the pot right now. It's gonna take a few hours to cook, so... Is we're doing something kind of slow cook, but also not just um. Well, one of the it's one of the meals that the the family likes having quite a bit, but really there's not too much to talk about right now. Other than I want to find out how Buttercup's day has gone, but because of how late she got home and the fact that I was starting dinner, trying to get this dealt with too, I apologize, but um. I still want to find out how her day went, because I'm hearing she thinks their teacher is very strict, is one, is one thing I heard. But personally, I think that's a good thing. She kind of needs the strictness in her life, you know? And you go with me, please. But she, she kind of needs that strictness in her life. Because, uh... Well, children have to learn sometimes. But I also, I also heard her vaguely talking to her mother. Uh, so Buttercup was talking with Lilia about something, something about... She doesn't have any, except for I think one of her kind of friends in her class. Because uh, her best friend apparently is moving out of the city. And um... I guess they put her in a class with none of her old classmates. So she, she's kind of bummed out, it's to be expected. But... At the same time, it's an opportunity to meet new people, try different things, you know. I mean, I, I can't really recall growing up ever having classes with any of my friends, so... Then it did we didn't really have her and I didn't really have very many friends. We had a few! Like, one in elementary and one in junior high, and... We don't talk about high school, how about that? We really don't. There's only one person from our high school that we even remotely still talk to, and even then, it's one of those, like, we don't talk to them very often, and it's more cordial than anything else. But, yeah, we didn't. We didn't really have very many friends growing up, and we were fine with that, because we didn't really like most of the people around us anyway. As for Buttercup, I do understand. She, she wants to be socializing. Well, I guess in her case, it might be a good thing that she has to meet and, uh, meet and get used to entirely new people. This is a weird thing after the latest update. The okay, the other people who play the Arch that. Um, the Arch that recently had an SD. I don't remember if it's the SDK or just the um, update in general. You see weird things with your hands now with the tracking. Because opening my hands, it feels a little bit funky. I mean, look, I mean, it, it seems a little bit funky to me right now, but they could just be me. Could be me. Especially when I point. Look at that. That's like. Uh, like. Wait, like, like, you really. It looks like I'm about to stab my fingers where it looks like. But, yeah, I'm, I'm just hoping Buttercup school year goes well this year. I, I guess she's uh, struggle. She's gonna struggle for a little bit with the strictness with her teacher, but that was what I was hoping for. I was hoping she had a strict teacher because she needs it. And... Well, I guess once you enter the fourth grade, it's completely different from 
the previous three grades being that it's above often strictness, I guess. At least that's how I remember it. <laughs> when I when when we were young, at least that's how we remember it. It was um different was Well the, our our worst one was third grade for us, but that that's totally different story. We don't we don't go into it. But <sighs> Again, there, I, I wish there was more I could talk about. I can even say, uh, one thing I can say in terms of uh, gaming here at home for myself and Terra, we're, um, we're kind of burnt out with PSO2 New Genesis right now. We're a little burnt out with NGS, so we're trying to find other things to do that don't involve just the same grind over and over and over again. Because we did, we did it a little too hard over the last month and a half. When he got my account, we played a little too hard, so we're we're taking a break from it, really. And of course, <laughs> uh, well, there are other things I want to be doing with my time. Hera as well wants to do other things. Like there there are some there are some projects we we would like to do, but it takes a whole lot of learning that he. he I don't even know if he has the patience to learn them. I know I don't. Uh, yeah, I wonder who's the more patient out of us, though. That's a good question. We'll pick that one up with Lilia, but right now, it still doesn't look like we're going to be able to do a, uh, any VR chat together, being Lilia and myself, because Sweet Peas still won't go to bed at a decent time. So we're still up very, very late. And it took until after, it took until about one o'clock in the morning again to get Sweet Peas to go to sleep, but. He woke right up about an hour later. So one hour later, she was already up again. So it's been a little bit tough today. And it'd be nice if it wasn't so tough, but what can you expect with kids, you know? But... I really just wish these kids would just sleep when they need to. Is uh, Lil Lily is kind of she's kind of losing her mind right now. The sweet pea is too much energy for Lilia, to which I I guess I can understand. No one was really, I guess a lot of parents wouldn't be prepared for my childhood style level of energy, which is what sweet pea has, which means she is going to be such a handful the older she gets. <laughs> Have fun, but by that. I will have fun with it. And it does look, it does look like Sweet Pea's off the left-handed, so that, that will be fun. We will get to teach her how to write and do all that stuff. Because it's a lot easier for a lefty to teach a lefty. So, I get to have fun with that. Tara gets to have fun with that. As they can... It's, it's something we like. But, let's see, there's that. What, what else was there? Um, oh yeah, our, our door finally got fixed today. So, hooray. I don't have to really fight with the door to keep it closed and keep it closed at all times anymore. So I keep it clo closed more often than not to keep Sweet Pea out of this room. But the door is fixed, and that is a huge lower off our mind. It's just, he decided he wanted to show up at 9.30 in the morning. He called us at like 8.30, no, 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 8.45, 9 o'clock, something like that. And I tried to say, could you, could you please come by this afternoon? He said, no, I'm coming over in like 15 minutes. Okay, so, er, no, he said he was on the other side of town, that he'd be here at like 9.30. He was here at 9.30 on the dot. But he did get it done quickly, so it's done, it's fixed, it doesn't look like it's going to be a problem anymore. That's what we're hoping for, because we don't want to have a repeat of this problem. We've had this problem long enough, so I just wore it behind us, so I don't have to think about it anymore. But I don't really have anything else I can really talk about. This is just the very home hump day. I want to talk to Buttercup and see how her day went. And I have to look at this one. Okay, that, that half of the cooking still has about 30 minutes left on it. So I've got time to prepare. But I really do want to find out how Buttercup's day went. Personally, rather than having it relayed to me. And of course, I have to see if, if uh, she, if she was given any homework. Because I know when I grew up, even on the first day of school in elementary school, we didn't have homework. 
So I'm gonna make sure if he has any, it gets done. And I keep up on those things. Which, uh, this does mean that some of our topics are gonna go back to a lot of school stuff again. Huh. It almost feels like it's... Like, I, like, at part of it, it's like, it doesn't feel like it was that long ago that this year started. But at the same time, it feels like it's been a good while since I've spoken about anything involving Buttercup School. Oh, should be kind of fun. Anyway, this is Ted. Did I do anything? Yeah, I did some. I did some. Anyway, this is as a spade on your hump day, August 14th, 2024. Day 207. And if you want to know why Bay 207 has any level of significance with the number itself, you will have to ask Tara. So you can write in the comments down below. Just ask Tara, why do you, why, why is 227 significant to you? You can ask that in the comments down below. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and we will see you all tomorrow on Thursday. See you around, everyone.